today I am going to read about snails by Susanna Davidson, illustrated by Rocio Martinez, narrated by Leslie Sims. In a sunny garden, inside flower pots and under rocks, lots of snails are hiding. The snails wait until it is dark. Then they creep out. Snails have soft bodies and hard shells. Slime oozes out from under a snail's body. It helps snails slide over the ground, up branches, and even upside down. Hungry snails look for food. They have rough tongues. They rub their tongues over leaves to eat them. Snails feel their way around with feelers. They can smell with their feelers too. Their eyes are on the ends of the longer feelers. A bird swoops down. It is looking for food. The snails hide in their shells. The bird can't get them. It flies away. Some kinds of snails live in the ponds, and some kinds live in the sea. Some snails are huge; they can grow longer than your arm. Snails lay lots and lots of eggs on land. Snails lay their eggs in the ground. A baby snail is inside each egg. Pond snails lay sticky eggs on plants. Their eggs are inside blobs of jelly. This keeps them safe. After a few weeks, the baby snails hatch out. They eat and mate and mate. The snails' bodies grow, and so do their shells. It's easy to find snails. Just follow their slimy trails. Snail bats, the biggest land snails, live in Africa. They can grow to 38 centimeters long. Snails go to sleep in the winter and wake up again in the spring. Snails come out after rain because they like. The wet. The bottom of the snail's body is called its foot. Some birds can eat snails. They smash the shells on stones.